of a giant, which is a gymnastics move that's pretty common in the bar apparatus. Um, these are some videos just to show you what it looks like of a woman. This is Sarah Finnegan. I actually know her. She's I mean, a, she does everything she um, possibly can. She was a runner up for the Olympics. Her her yes, not the strongest event for her, but it sure and will look good. She is right in front of Heck, I don't know. This is a man. You can obviously see that the apparatus are slightly different. On her, it's no uneven bars. circular motion around the bar. Um, in the Giants, you can do multiple different moves, like you saw them there, they would release from the bar and then connect again. But for this um, lab, I just focused on the movement of the gymnast around the bar, and I basically wanted to figure out what the difference between a male and female gymnast in doing the Giant was. Um, my hypothesis were that uh, the male, as the male or female completes more and more consecutive giants, their velocity would increase after each one. Um, I also thought that the gymnast's velocity would be most great when they are directly below the bar or coming, kipping back up to the starting handstand, so they start like so, and so right there when they kip up would where they would have. The most Are you saying kick up? Kip. 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 Yeah, they have to. They. What you do is, when you're right here, you have to, like, bring your toes forward and arch your back so you get more, like, momentum and, um, like, velocity so you can, are able to even pull yourself back up. Of course. Um, and I also thought that the male would have more velocity just because of like natural anatomy and as you saw in the videos before just because of the different types of bars where the female gymnasts they have the pair or the lower bar to worry about and hitting their legs on the lower bar whereas the male gymnast just has this one bar and he has to do like he doesn't go from bar to bar so he can gain more velocity in that. So when they're at the top, they have MG pulling down and tension pulling down, so it's easy to get going. But then when they're here, they have tension in the arms going up and MG going down, so that's why they need more force from their strength to pull them up. Um, <laughs> so this is the girl's giant. And so what I did was I took a video of um, a male and female performing giant, just a regular giant, not, nothing with any fancy moves. And then I put the videos into Logger Pro and I did the video analysis of them going around. And then at their, I graphed three giants and I graphed their peak velocity and I had to, on Logger Pro they give you the X and Y velocity so I had to find the tangential velocity for those and I graphed those. I graphed the, um, when they're at their peak and then they're at the lowest part right there. And this is what I found. And so this is in the top handstand of the girl. And that is when she's swinging up. 
and then this is the second giant and the third. So, yeah, so it concludes that when they were coming right here, they have a higher velocity. And the same is for the guy as well. You can see the difference between the two. Um, so, basically, um, <laughs> basically, what is it? Um, as the gymnasts perform more and more uh, giants, their, the velocity did not show to increase, but this could have been due to that I was taking video of non-professional uh, athletes who were just doing the generic giant rather than giants where you have to do crazy moves in between where you would need more velocity and momentum to get those moves in. Um, <coughs> The, grip, the velocity was most greatest when they were down here, so that was proven correctly from my hypothesis. And um, the male, he did have a higher velocity for each giant, but it's purely subjective to who you are because um, your radius could affect that way you would go. <laughs> and um, so I think it would be cool to perform to take video and analysis on uh, Olympic gymnasts doing their moves to see, because in the video you could see that the the male was obviously gaining more speed, and if you have played with this before, you could see that after each rotation, he is slowly getting faster and faster. So, um, I wish I had done it on more professional gymnasts, but I obviously don't have access to the videos except online, but that's where they're doing the crazy stuff. Yeah. That's what we have time for a question. Uh, you said you know that girl in the video? Yeah, she used to go to the St. Louis Gym Center. My sisters do gymnastics, my mom coaches there, and we're good friends with their family. Uh, this KIP operation. Mm -hmm. You described it as lifting the legs and arching the back. Mm -hmm. And when is it done? Can you show me with the model when it's done the it's, best time? Um, so they come down, and about like right here, you want to start. Like, you can't. Sh he's like a stiff person, obviously. But you want to arch your back right there and tap your feet, and that's a kip. And when do you straighten your feet? Do you have a, a feel for that as well? Um, I've only done a giant one time in my life, but. Like, it's kind of like a swing. Right. Like when you're swinging. <laughs> Good, I was hoping that so, you would mention that. So, like, if you're, if you're on a swing and you want to, like, jump off the swing, you want to straighten, like, there. I'm pretty sure. So a swing is like a pendulum. So what is it <laughs> that... Why does that encourage more swinging? What you, you talked about gaining speed through that operation. Yeah. Can you speak about it more in, in a physics sense? What is the contribution of kipping? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Um, I guess your feet are like moving at a faster rate than the rest of your body, and so it causes I don't know, it's a hard question. It is a hard question. You want to bounce it to the room and see if anybody has an idea? Sure, it's bounced. Was it like when we spun on that thing and we brought our mass in? It was like a change of the place of mass? Yeah, related to that. Like when you're doing work. Doing <laughs> work, yeah. Increasing energy. That's good. That's a nice clean explanation. We're doing work, Give me a sec. and so increasing the energy of the system. In this case, I think we're just lifting up our legs and then feeding that energy back in when um, when you would otherwise not go as high, right? So you kick back, kick down, unkip, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not an expert in gymnastics at all, but that's uh, that's fascinating. I think about that with swings all the time. Why we kick at certain times. Thank you.